Okay, for 5b, we have the same vectors that are given to us uh, as in 5a. We always want to draw this on the grid that's provided. Uh, the grid that I gave you on the originally wasn't quite big enough, so I might have to add a little bit more in order to get that to fit on there. Uh, the test question I give you, I'll give you the correct size grid to fully fit uh, the drawing that you have no matter how you draw it. Uh, so this one you have to kind of extend a little bit more uh, for something like this. Now before you draw this on the grid, uh, you want to make sure that you kind of know which direction it's going in so you kind of know where to start it so you don't have to try to draw extra boxes outside. Uh, so we're going to start by just making a quick sketch off to the side here before I get my answer. So first I start with a U and so the U is going to uh, look like that. It basically goes up and to the right, kind of like that. Now the W, if I want to put the W on there, I need to switch the arrowhead because I have a negative here and you can make that negative and turn it into a, ne a negative by just changing the, the arrowhead. Now we're not going like this, we're not changing the shape, going like that, we're not doing anything with the angle itself. All we're doing to make a negative angle is switching the arrowhead and so when I switch it, that allows me to add those uh, tip to tail because now I have the uh, the tail is actually down on this end because we switched the arrowhead. Now next we have a the V here and that's going to kind of go up this direction. That's going to be if we switch the arrowhead because it's negative it's going to go up like that. So we have kind of going this way, this way, and this way. This will be negative 2V. Uh, so that's what our drawing will look like. So I definitely want to start the drawing all the way down here uh, lower left since I'm kind of going up with all the other uh, vectors. So starting there, I'm going to go, remember that when you draw these vectors they have to be precise. So you have to specifically count four places to the right and up three. It has to be exactly that way when you put it on the drawing. So go over four and up three, that's going to give you this. So that's the first one, that's the U. Next, we want to do the negative W we switch the arrowhead. That's going to go two places to the right and up three. So from here, two to two play, uh, I mean to the left. So to the left and up three will be here. And so that right there will be uh, that is negative W. It's negative because we switched the arrowhead. Next, we want to have negative two V. Okay. So to do that, we need to switch the arrowhead, and then we have to do two of them. So from here, we're going to go, in this case, one to the right and up four. We do the same thing here. One to the right and up four. We make a dot. One to the right and up four, we got to do it again. So actually, this right here, this whole thing, this is going to be negative 2v. So we kind of went that direction. Now, to get the answer, we have to draw a line from the starting point to the ending point. I'm going to do that in purple. Notice I went a different order than the way I did it on the answer key. I did this purposely to show you that your answer is going to be exactly correct no matter which path that you take. So I'm starting from here and I'm going to draw a line all the way up to this one here. Now if you cross uh, anything in between that's okay. It's okay to, to uh, cross over there in that case. So if you cross over any of the other previous answers perfectly fine to do it that way. So again, I'm going to draw a line uh, all the way up here like that. And it's going to look like that purple line. So again, I'm going to just basically indicate that that's going to be my answer. Now, let's count what we have. From here, we go over one, two, three, uh, four to the right. And then we're going to be going up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so my answer, no matter how I draw it, should go four boxes to the right and up 14. If you look at the, the answer key that I have here, I did it in a different order, but you'll still see that length is exactly the same. It goes four to the right and up. And so the main thing is, the most important thing is your final answer. That's what I'm looking for. And you do that by taking any kind of path. So again, uh, if you cross over something, that's perfectly fine, but this is what your uh, final answer should look like.